Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to yet another episode of Two Minute Tuesdays. Today we're talking about the speaker stands I use and why I use them, and perhaps you'll get something out of it. But before we do, I know some of you guys in the comment section have been commenting that my Two Minute Tuesdays are actually not two minutes. And listen, it's a concept, it's a goal, but you know, it's not a rule. Meaning I may hit sometimes two minutes, but sometimes I may not. Don't criticize too much on that and fixate too much on that. The whole point and the concept of the Two Minute Tuesday videos are to make shorter hi-fi videos for you guys so that you don't have to sit there for 20 minutes and listen to someone talk about speaker stands. So let's do it. Let's drop two minutes on the clock. Okay, so the first speaker stands that I use is the Monoprice speaker stands. And the reason I use these stands is because they come in multiple different heights. And heights for speaker stands are extremely important because you want to have the speakers at ear level. Meaning the tweeter here, you want to relatively have it at ear level. Now, some manufacturers would recommend a little bit below ear level or a little bit above ear level to the tweeter. But regardless, Monoprice has 24 inch, 28 inch, and 32 inch stands to accommodate the right height for your speaker stands. Now, the second reason I got it is because it's inexpensive for the quality you get. The build quality is extremely, extremely high quality in my opinion. All metal speaker stand, very heavy to begin with. And you can even fill it with sand and cat litter to the point um, where it's really, really heavy, back-breaking heavy. And that's good for two main reasons. It's sturdy, it's not wimpy, you don't want a wimpy speaker stand, you don't want you know, your speakers falling off. And also second, because of its heavy nature, now you have better isolation, better resonance control as well. And you can also adjust the amount of filling you put into it to make it more dead sounding or a little bit more live sounding depending on your preference with your speakers. That's something you have to experiment with. Just filling it all the way to the top is not always the best solution, at least from my experience. Now the next speaker stand I own and have gotten a lot of compliments in my video is the solid steel speaker stands. Now these come in 24 inch and 28 inch, I believe. And they are, which is the pretty standard height. They are high end Italian stands. Now these are better because these are three point contact system instead of four. The less contacts you have with the floor, the better. These are three spiked and these have high quality ball bearings that attach to the speaker plate which is really good for resonance control and really isolates your speakers from the rest of the system. And I found that this speaker stand is really aesthetically pleasing as well. It's one of my favorite speaker stands. I think the black one is a little bit nicer, but I've gotten a lot of compliments on both. And aesthetic reasons do matter with speaker stands at the end of the day. So that's why I chose them and they are phenomenal in both performance and aesthetics and 100% the best looking speaker stands I've owned so far. Now, moving on, I have another unique kind of speaker stand. This is the Wharfdale speaker stand. It's the speaker stand that comes with the Wharfdale Heritage speakers. And I got this speaker stand because for speakers like the Wharfdale Heritage series or even like the Tecton speakers I have here or whatever, I don't have the luxury of putting it on a normal speaker stand because it's just a big speaker. So for stuff like this, like Harvest speakers, Wharfdale speakers, you know, Tecton speakers that have this type of in a format that requires this type of stand, I found it to be a perfect size and aesthetics, again, for this purpose. It is high quality. It comes with really nice plates and shoe holders as well, which I really don't use because I don't care about my floors. And above all else, I find it to be the perfect height for speakers like the Wharfdale, Harbeth, and speaker of that type, and really great with resonance control, really high construction for the money asking. There you go. Did I make it? Hopefully I did. All right, until next time.